Layer Mask. Yes, Layer Mask is one of the most useful tools you can use for editing your images in Photoshop. So in this video, I'm going to explain how Layer Mask works and also some helpful tips you can use to transform your pictures in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. The only purpose of Layer Mask in Photoshop is to hide or show a layer. To have a layer mask on your layer, you're just going to click the layer mask icon here and then it creates a white box beside your layer. But you need to understand the concept of layer mask. Whenever you see a white layer mask, it means the layer is visible and whenever you see a black layer mask, it means the layer is invisible. That's why we're having this image visible because our layer mask here is white. We can see the layer because the layer mask is white but if you change the layer mask to black now the image is invisible because the layer mask is black to hide a specific part of your layer you are just going to make sure you are selecting your layer mask and then you use your normal brush don't forget black is for hiding and then white is for revealing so if you want to hide you need to toggle to black foreground of your normal brush and then you hide the part you want to make invisible and then you want uh, if you want to make it visible you want to bring it back again you can toggle to white which is for revealing for showing and then you make the area visible again i hope you understand the most important thing you need to know about layer mask is it allows you to work non-destructive which means you can work on a layer and later come back and change your decision on the effects you applied on the layer for example Assuming you want to change the background of this image, you duplicated your original layer and separated your subject from the background and then you imported the background which you want to use on your project. You added Gaussian blur to the layer and you feel like you need to hide some part of the background you imported. You added your layer mask using your normal brush tool. Don't forget black is for hiding and then you gradually use your normal brush and hide part of the background you imported and then you go ahead and add some exposure to the background you adjusted the color you added extra light behind your model and then you feel like you need to bring back part of the background that you hide you can just go ahead and toggle to your white normal brush and then you gradually brush and bring back part of the background which you hide secondly layer mask allows you to work on smart objects smart objects are objects that are created when we import vector images into your project let's say for example i want to add uh, some birds flying over the sky for example these images that you imported are always imported as smart objects so smart objects you cannot erase smart objects as you can see you cannot paint over smart objects so let's say for example i want to reduce the number of the beds layer mask comes in very handy you can just add layer marks to the layer using your black foreground normal brush and then you hide the beds you which you want to make invisible which you want to hide as you can see you can actually hold your alt key and click on your layer mask to have a bigger view of your layer mask up here here where we are having blacks are the areas where we use our normal brush to hide the number of beds we don't want them to be visible on our image you can turn it off by holding alt key again and click on the layer mask again something also you should know is you can hold your shift key and click on your layer mask notice we are having this red x on our layer mask which means we turn off the effect of the layer mask on this particular layer as you can see the bits we have hidden are now visible again so you can turn off the effect by holding your shift key and click on the layer mask again so this is something you can use to have a quick before and after and see how your image is with and without the effect of the layer mask here's another tip let's say for example i want to darken her eyebrow a bit going to my adjustment options here selecting my curves and then i dial down my curves a bit if i select the layer mask on my curves here and then i press command or control i to invert notice i'm now turning from white layer mask which is visible to now black which is invisible it means i'm hiding the effect of the curves layer on my image 
so for me to reveal the effects of the cuffs layer what i would do is i would just go to my normal brush whenever you discover the color of your normal brush is not black and white you can press d on your keyboard to reset that is it's now black and white so i would just make sure i'm toggling to white foreground and then i zoom in my eyebrow and then i brush to just reveal the effect on the eyebrow as you can see so if i feel i overdo don't forget i can toggle to black which is hide and then i hide the excess areas as you can see so if you zoom out and do before and after you see how we pop up the eyebrow using our layer mask as you can see also you can simply copy layer mask let's assume you want to add some level of contrast to this eyebrow you just go to your adjustment options brightness of and contrast and then you increase the contrast as you can see so instead of you to also invert and use your normal brush to reveal the areas where you want to make visible you can just copy your cuffs layer by holding your alt key and then you click and drag and place it on top of your brightness and contrast layer as you can see it's asking for replace layer mask and then you hit on yes so if you do before and after you also see the contrast is only affecting the eyebrow just like the cuffs layer below something i should also talk about is the properties of the layer mask let's assume i want to color grade the background of this image not affecting our subject so holding our control and clicking on our layer mask to bring back our selection of the subject so if i go to my adjustment option and then i click on color lookup table, uh, color lookup table and load a particular lot to the image as you can see the color grading on this lot is only visible on our subject so don't forget we can press ctrl or command i to invert now the effect of the color grading is affecting only the background so let's do before and after so if i go to my properties here so if you are not seeing properties you can go to your windows and then you select on properties so under our properties we are having density density is just like opacity because if you are reducing the set uh, the density notice the blacks here we are having is reducing it means we are bringing back the effect of the lots on our model let's hold our alt and click on the layer mask as you can see the blacks which means our model the effect that we had on our model now is now coming back the effects on the uh, of the color grading on our model is now getting visible so let's increase the density so that you can see we are bringing back the blacks which means we are hiding the effect of the color grading on our subject and if we are reducing the density which means we are allowing some colors to be visible on our model so let me hold alt and click on the layer mask so that we bring back our image so let me increase the density as you can see the effect of the color grading of the lots is now no longer visible on our image so if i'm reducing it a bit as you can see the color grading of the layer is now visible on the image so that's it for density so for further it just basically creates smooth transition between the areas where you are hiding and the areas where you are revealing to clearly understand let me create a new adjustment layer and increase the saturation of the overall of the image and then i copy the layer mask below so if i go to my properties and start increasing the feather it will start creating a smooth transition making the colors visible on the subject but in a smooth transitional way so let me increase the feather as you can see around the edge of the subject the colors are starting to become visible gradually and smoothly as you can see if we zoom out and hold alt and click on the layer mask as you can see the edges are now the edges are now smooth which means there is a smooth transition between where you are hiding and then where you are making visible another useful thing i should talk about is chain let's say for example i want to add a dust particle to the image and then i scale the dust particle layer as you can see and then i change the blending mode from normal to screen i approve and then i felt like i don't want the effect of the dust 
to be visible on my model then i just quickly copy my layer mask here i hold my alt and then i drag and drop on the layer mask all right here we are having the dust visible on the background and then not visible on our subject which is exactly what we want and then i later realized why not i scale and increase the size of the dust by selecting my move tool so if i start increasing you will notice it's moving along with the layer mask up here if you can see so what you do to avoid that is to make sure you are clicking the chain in between the layer mask and the image next to the layer mask so if you just click on the chain you notice you unlink the connection between the layer mask and the dust particle layer so whenever you select your dust particle you can increase the size without affecting the layer mask as you can see that's it for today's video and i hope you learned a thing or two see you on the next one